glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. You might think the games get more important as we get deeper into the season. Try selling that to this sellout crowd who've been screaming their guts out and ready for kickoff in the SEC. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. teams take the field in this exciting football atmosphere. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Cleveland has the ball set how he wants it. And we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. Irby from the six. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Stanley's overall ability, Irby, has got to drive you crazy if you're a defensive coach. Yeah, you look at a defensive coordinator trying to slow this guy down. It's next to impossible. He can do so many different things. And today, they're going to try to put pressure on him because if you sit back, he, can, he just makes too many things happen. Very good tackle in space. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. First and 10, ball on the 39. They'll bring him down around the 39 yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. Complete and he's hit hard. That'll make it 35. From their own 44 yard line, it's third down. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Run and he's brought down. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. From the 37 yard line, second down. Got an opening. And they make the stop at the 27 yard line. LSU's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. From the 27 yard line, first down. made at about the 17 yard line just a simple draw play there but they picked up some big yards and this is the eighth play of the drive brought down after a nice run up the middle that's good for a gain of five yards that brings him second and five from the 12 yard line it's second down and he is drilled at the 11. Here's 
Here's play number 10 on the drive. I got you, punk. Pulls in the pass and steps out. That's a key play to find the open man and keep the drive alive. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Throws complete touchdown. And he adds the extra point. An 11-play, 73-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 7-0. Anderson from the seven. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And he's tackled around the 27-yard line. Good penetration by the defense. That's a loss of one on the option. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Nice run up the middle. That's a game of six on the play. Third down. Side right, side right. Four down, four down. Mike 22, he's coming. 22 is coming. Mike, Mike. Cut. Ball set. Flex at the end. Flex. Flex. And a quick throw. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. Looks like offsides. Offside. Here's the official call. Defense. They got across the line a bit too soon. Give the quarterback some credit here for using his cadence to draw the defense off sides. From midfield, it's first down. He's on the run. Brought down at midfield. So he tried to scramble there, but it didn't even look like he got a yard. He just got lucky to get to the line of scrimmage after that play. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. And down he goes. Right around the 44-yard line. Hits him hard at the 44. No gain on the play. That brings up second and nine. Takes a handoff. Tackled for a loss. Loss of two yards on the play. That makes it third and eleven. And a great ball game so far as we reach the end of one. Seven nothing, LSU. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Mike 22, he's coming, 22 is coming, Mike, Mike. Right on. Got it, complete, he's out of bounds. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. Fires that 
quickly incomplete. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 30. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's tackled at the 20. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Throws it in a hurry, and he's hit immediately. The slant pattern, good for about eight yards on the play. That makes it second and two. Mike, Mike. Let's go, defense. Quick throw in the end zone, touchdown. be tied with the extra point. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. He hits the PAT. It was a 12 play, 73 yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. We're even at seven in this one. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Hardy takes it at the four, and down he goes at the 29. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant, maybe, to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offense coordinator is get the offense over to the sideline after the series, make sure everybody's on the same page, and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offense line. Positive yardage. That makes it 37. From their own 31 yard line, it's third down. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Browning to punt. He's to the 40. He's knocked out of bounds around the 46-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Taken down at about the 45. And they'll bring him down behind the line. The quarterback decided to pitch it on the option, but the back had nowhere to go. Just a perfect defensive scheme for stopping that. They got to the option before it got to them. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Back 22, back 22. Ready? Blue 45. Here's a handoff, and he's brought down right away. He's really quick with his lateral movements, especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. Cleveland awaits the snap. Hardy takes it 
Woods at the 14. He's tackled at the 20-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. That makes it second and ten. LSU just took their first time out. Two minutes left in the half. Quickly with a tight end. Tackle around the 42-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. Throws middle to the tight end. They'll bring him down at the 49. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch. That's fun to see. Zips it to the tight end. And they make the stop right around the 46-yard line. First, and ten. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46. Gets to about the 44-yard line. The Tigers are going to call their second timeout. A two-yard run by the halfback. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. Fires right side, got his tail back. Tackle made at the 24 yard line. That's good for a game of 20 yards. Easy, easy, easy. Big dog, big dog. Easy, easy, easy. Delta. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Hamilton on the tackle at the 6 yard line. Easy, easy, easy. Fox 2, Fox 2. And he's tackled just outside the goal line. Gain of six on the play. That brings up the second goal. And he throws it away. This is the 10th play of this drive. They line up in the jumbo set. He's going to run for the end zone, and he doesn't get in. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks away, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Points were very hard to come by in those first two quarters. They'll head to the locker room. 10-7, Tigers. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I love this first half. Two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced, David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If, if you got to a, a certain number of points, the game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So 
when you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. It And the offense on the other side, you know what you got, too. You don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't going to kill you. I got a dominant side of the football. Play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He sends this one deep. And he's taken down at the 17. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. After a decent pickup. That makes it seven and six. Here we go. Six four, six four. Quick throw to the tight end. That's a great tackle at the thirty. From their own 28-yard line, second down. The sub package in there defensively in this five-wide receiver set. Fires incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's finally shoved out at the 45-yard line. Quick strike, and he drops it. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. From the 45-yard line, second down. Let's go! Round 50! Going right to his tailback. Tackled for a loss. Loss of four yards on the play. Third down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Wants to throw outside. The freshman makes the catch. Knocked out of bounds at the 30 yard line. Again with the run, he gets out to about the 28-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Three down, three down. Back 22, back 22. Run it hard. Throws complete. He's hammered. That's a gain of four on the play. That'll bring up third and four. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Super effort by the defense here to stuff him at the line and force the offense into a fourth down situation. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. 
Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. A conversion there could have really helped them, but it just wasn't to be. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. LSU holds a field goal lead. And they got him for a loss. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Makes the catch and look out. Steps out of bounds at the 26. Fires it out. He's taken down around the 37 yard line. Caldwell makes the tackle at the 37 yard line. First down. From their own 37-yard line. First down. Brought down at the 40-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Four yards on that reception. That makes it third and three. So we're looking at another third down here. Complete. He's got room, and down he goes at the 41-yard line. Gaining 15 yards. That makes it first and 10. From the 41-yard line, it's first down. LSU is up a field goal. a bullet over the middle. He's tackled around the 36-yard line. Hale picks up about five yards on that hookup. That makes it second and six. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Gain as he works the right side. That's three down and one to go. LSU's got a three-point lead. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. Big stop there early in the fourth quarter. And the way this game has been played and how tight it's been, every defensive stop will be huge. So they're going to go for it here. He tackles him for a loss. Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. This time the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Going deep. No, incomplete. 
incomplete. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 35. He's on the run. Scoops it up, and he's taken down at the 41. Not a good time to fumble the football. And that guy feels horrible about it. He's got to forget about it. Go out there and play hard the next time they hit the field. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. LSU is up by three. The tight end's got it for a first down. Tackle at the 27. First down. From the 27-yard line. First down. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Just throws this one away. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 17. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry, and he hits him hard at the five-yard line. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Touchdown, LSU! Splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Anderson from the two. Tackle at the 28-yard line. The Tigers defense came to play, and man, they have played beautifully. How many do they have dressed out there? 12 or 13 <laughs> defenders? I mean, they're flying all over the field. And this poor offense just can't move the ball. They have no chance. So the offense comes out after their last drive, had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. You don't change your philosophy after one play. They'll be out doing the same thing as before, just with better awareness. They'll bring him down at the 32-yard line. That makes it second and six. Under heavy pressure. And he is drilled at the 33. That's a game of one on the play. Third down. Just under three to go in regulation. He's going to try and scramble. And they got it. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He wants it all. Doesn't get there. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. 
Well, they had a lot of success on their last possession, and now they're going to start this one off with excellent field position. It's hard to ask your defense to come out and make a stop when they're already backed up this far within their own end zone. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. That always stings the defense to give up a big running play like that. They don't want to give up big chunks of yards on the ground. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And they make the stop at the two-yard line. Wheatley gains six yards with a short completion. The Ragin' Cajuns use their second timeout. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Touchdown, Tigers! Big time touchdown on the ground for what looks to be the score that puts this one on ice. He makes the PAT. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Let's take a look at some scores from around the country. The Tar Heels deliver the perfect connection and a touchdown. North Carolina has the edge 7-3. Elsewhere, an update from Birmingham. And for UAB, they remain red hot. Carter's darn talent was evident. He had a couple of touchdown passes in this one. The Blazers finish on top 27-24. Thanks, Reese. 24 to 7 in our game here. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Anderson back to return. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 20-yard line. The Tigers have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. And the defense made a big stop on fourth down the last time this offense was out there. Hey, remember, you don't have to go for it on fourth down. The last time you had the football, you went for it on fourth down, and you didn't convert. Just think about this. If you move the ball into your opponent's territory and you want to take a chance and it makes sense to go for it on fourth down, I understand that and I get it. But when you're in your own territory and it's fourth down and five or longer, just considering the it would make me so happy. Just under two to go in the game. Passes in and it's picked off by the safety. Tackle made at the 50. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. From the 50. First down. After a decent pickup. That brings him second and five. Inside the 40. And they'll run him again. And he's tackled around the 49 yard line. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That'll bring up fourth and knee. going to do it. Our final score in this one, 24 to 7, Tiger. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.